Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm feeling a lot better since I had COVID. I'm so excited to be here. Luckily, my symptoms were really mild and my recovery was pretty speedy. I also want to thank everyone for sending their best wishes my way. I really appreciated them. And since I get asked this a lot, I just want to say that I have about 70% of my sense of taste and smell back. It's not completely back, but you know, fingers crossed, it is coming back very, very soon. Since the last video I posted was about how to season odonabe, I wanted to follow up with a donabe recipe for you guys. As the title of this video has suggested, we are making soy milk donabe. In Japanese, it's called tonyonabe. Now, you don't need a donabe to make this recipe. You can just make it out of a regular pot. But I think the donabe is what really cements the experience of these dishes. You are eating at the dining table, you are cooking the meat to your liking. It's really fun and I just love it. I love hot pot and I love donabe. Anyway, enough of this chatter, let's get to making the recipe. Here I have negi, which is a Japanese long green onion. It's a lot bigger than the typical green onion. It's kind of on the side of leeks. You can find these in the Korean market as well. They are usually labeled as large green onions. So we're only going to use the white parts of the negi. Trim the tip off and slice them diagonally like so. You can use the green parts in stir fries, but you must not use it in your soup or it will make it slimy. Next, we're going to cut up some Napa cabbage into 2 inch strips. Peel the lotus roots and slice them into quarter inch thick pieces. For the shimeji mushrooms, trim the roots off and rinse thoroughly. For the shiitake, we're going to trim the stems off. Then we are going to gently make a shallow incision down the center and then cut diagonally into the incision on both sides. Turn the mushroom and repeat this to make a cross design. Doesn't it look so pretty? For the carrots, slice them diagonally like the negi. I'm using firm tofu today and it's so that it doesn't disintegrate into the donabe. And we're just gonna cut them into half inch thick squares. We're gonna use some boneless skinless salmon today and we're just gonna pat them dry and then slice them into long bite sized pieces. For our soup seasoning, let's add some sesame paste along with some miso, sake, and mirin into a bowl and mix thoroughly. It's time to prepare the nabe, so add the dashi and then turn the stove up to medium to heat it up. In the meantime, we're gonna warm up our soy milk. We don't want it hot, we just want it to be warm. Heating it for 30 seconds should do the trick. Once the dashi is heated through but not boiling, add the soy milk and the soup seasoning. Mix it in well and then once it's heated through, carefully place your veggies in it. So if you're planning on substituting or adding any leafy greens to the nabe, I would suggest letting the harder vegetables cook first and then adding the leafy greens right before serving. After adding the veggies, cover and bring the nabe to the dining table. I have my portable stove set up with extra veggies on the side. I also like cooking the salmon at the table. This way it doesn't get overcooked and tough. This recipe goes really well with ponzu, so make sure you pour some for dipping. So you wanna bring the nabe to a simmer over medium heat and allow the veggies to cook. Once they're all cooked through, remove the lid and everything's ready to eat. If you guys have enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck in the kitchen and enjoy!